Hey everybody, Texas Trucker here, Lance's Performance Shop, Lone Star Mopars.com. We've just done some massive Coke and Tool hauls. Uh, these go back to the Father's Day and July 4th sales that they had. And subsequently, we have bumped up our socket counts. And some of the stuff goes back even farther, but it's all still kind of just on the spring steel rails, right? Uh, and true story, that's what I used and had for years and years and years. Uh, my old Craftsman set, starter set, the ones that got me through the majority of my life, finally broke down, you know, and I went and I got some, I think probably from Sears, just rails just like these with spring clips, kept the socket organized, everything, kind of kept them from rolling around, and therefore they were in order and I could quickly find the size that I needed. Things have changed a lot since then. I've been on the big organization kick, and uh, this is something that I've been waiting to make this video. It took forever, I assume, because of the foamed extension set. That's two to three week lead time, but it was quite a bit longer than that. <laughs> Could have been something else was out of stock, but when I bought it, everything was in stock. But needless to say, we've got quarter to three quarter here in our semi-deep, and quarter to three quarter in our shallow Koken 12-point sockets, right? And those are something that I kind of want to get off those rails and into something a little bit better. Now, that brings us into some options and some stuff I've got sitting around, right? So right here from Ernst, I have had this thing waiting to go. My original plan was to put the Capri impact sockets on it. Uh, currently, if you recall, my Capri impacts, I've got shallow, semi, and deep, 3 8 drive. Those are on 18 inch Ernst socket bossed, three rows in orange. Metric I want to do in green, that's why this is here. However, I've not taken the time to populate it because I'm not quite sure how everything's going to fit in the top of the Master Tech. There's also the option, if things don't fit, I can move them to the top drawer. <laughs> and everything like, whoa, 3 8 metric in the top drawer, that's insane. Not really. You got to realize, like, what I mess around with and what I prefer to work on is old Mopars, right? There's no metric on them. If metric sockets fit, it's a combination of rounded corners and rust, okay? So, uh, this is still waiting in the wings. It becomes a viable option when you do something weird with them. And it's kind of something I've toyed around with. I might try it for a little while, see what I think of it. But essentially, this is what I would do. Okay, this is an 18 inch, so we could surely fit uh, 18 sockets, I would imagine. We've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 pegs, which is perfect. What if we took, okay, <laughs> there's various ways to do this, but what if we took the 18 inch socket boss and I ran quarter to three quarter shallow and then we started it up with quarter to three quarter semi deep. You could even pyramid it where you have shallow up to three quarter and then semi deep three quarter down. It would totally fit, it's totally doable, right? Uh, the size down from 18 inch would be 13 inch. And if you're sitting here and you're wondering how many there are, it would be difficult for me to tell you because this is quarter drive, but it's what I have present. And if you just kind of size it by the rail, I found that works well you totally wouldn't be able to fit these 18 sockets. You'd need to step up, right? So now if you wanted to do standalone, you'd have dead space on both sides. That is where I kind of started wondering about it. Like, do I really want to do the weird thing where it's all on one rail? You could also do six point, you know, shallow and deep, 12 point shallow and 12 point semi deep. The sky is kind of the limit. Um, almost makes sense to have your sixes on one rail and the twelves on the other if you're doing something like that. This is then where, you know, to make the orange uh, three row, we had to buy like several of these, you know, and kind of piece them together. So I've got quarter and I've got half. The cool thing with Ernst is everything interchanges. So, I mean, if this is a quarter drive rail and I want it to be three eighths right now for these to be an orange, I can just take these pegs off. You can also buy the pigs. But I was playing around and I have crazy ideas in my head and I think about this stuff at night. It keeps me up, you know. <laughs> but, uh, one of the things led to another and I got to talking to Vicky and I was like, hey, you know, do you have like a the eight inch socket boss? Because eight, you go 18, 13, and eight. They're going five inch increments basically, right? And if you're thinking like, oh, you know, nine inch, that'd be like nine sockets. That's like perfect for a 10 inch rail or something. Well, they don't offer one. And the step down, you know, 13's a little too big, right? 18, you can basically fit two sets. 
So 13 is a little too big and then you're stuck with eight and you're like, well, that's not gonna work. Well, guess what? I just had to find out and that is where these come in. These are from Ernst. These are the 8408M magnetic twist lock eight inch socket organizers. These are all set up for three eighths. Uh, you're gonna pay, I think, $17.95 and it's pretty much the same price across the board so if you wanted this for half inch or three eighths or whatever you know like in your big impacts you always have like those four or five that don't fit whatever you're putting them on they would come in they would fit here uh, same thing if you just had a couple of uh, sockets you could go to town here and if you're thinking like well what what could you possibly do with that well this is what I did okay this is an iteration. I think I posted pictures of it a while back. Don't hold me to it, but my nephew, we got him a squat rack, you know, sort of towards the uh, start of summer. And it's got big, big, you know, 5 8 hardware, so you need 15 16 and then there's a litany of other things. I pieced this together. So I had, you know, like my half inch impacts, I had, you know, half inch 12 point, and then I had like 3 8 hex bits, and I just pushed it out like this, and then of course, Ernst, just thinking back to like their bit bosses and everything, you've got the option of doing this. And if you're like, well, what in the world is that? Well, this is what they would call their face mount adapter. Uh, face mount meaning that it's basically in line with the sockets, right? They have a side mount that would take this, kind of strap it in place here, but the actual holding functions would be out to the side. Uh, so you could then have your full, say, you know, eight sockets or whatever fits on here and then have your ratchets and extensions up here and you're thinking like ratchets and extensions and oh yeah, I did not stutter. So the way this works, that comes in and it holds <laughs> your extension. Similarly, you can come in and that same thing, we've got two pieces here, it holds this. Now this becomes a viable thing for you when you consider that for 549 you actually get two of them right so this is the pack this is the second one uh, this is what you would be looking at I'll have it linked as well but it's their part number 8355 face mount that's critical because if you want the side mounts where it would come off the rail you would want the side mount it's also 549 for the two pack you guessed it they're available in quarter three eighths and half inch <laughs> and, uh, if I can find the open slot here we should be able to crack this guy. I know it opens. I've had it open. There we are. So this is what we've got. This is what this looks like off the rail, okay? You get two of these for $5.50, basically. The way this sets up is you have it in place, and obviously in this instance with a long ratchet, you'd want to position another one to kind of hold it. Same with the extension. You can get by with one. The side mount would be a deal where you would have it clip on, but then it would rest here. So again, you run your sockets and then you run your extension. Now, if you noticed the big selling point on these, and the reason they cost a little more than you would think the eight inch would is that. And if you're thinking like, no, 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 that's pathetic. That's not holding sockets. I was kind of unknowing what it was going to be capable of, right? You know, I thought, well, you know, it's probably just designed to like keep it to where it doesn't flop over in the drawer, right? I've been pleasantly surprised and I absolutely love it. Uh, case in point, I'm going to take this extension from Koken. That thing is not going anywhere. I can, that's a really strong pull. I can take this entire railed set, quarter to three quarter, 12 point. There's only two magnets here. <laughs> and uh, you see what this is capable of now, right? It's pretty impressive. There's only two magnets. So yeah, the rail, since it's not flat, if you're not familiar how these work, there's the spring steel clips. So it's going to rock a little side to side, but it's not dropping it. Okay, this is not me. I'll hold it by this quarter peg and this. That's all what the two magnets are doing. They're holding nine sockets. Again, if this was a flat surface, it wouldn't even be wobbling like that. So what I want to do now is take you over to the master tech and show you what I've done and it's something I constantly have to move because I couldn't talk about it yet. So let's go over there and I'll show you what we got going on. All right, so right here, this is of course, Koken six point sockets. We got shallow, we got deep, same nine piece, quarter to three quarter. Uh, if you're thinking like, hey, that's eight. Well, that's because I've got three quarter over there for comparison purposes. But uh, check that also the three quarter from here. But look at this, like that is solid as a rock and this is the thick liner, right? Not super thick, but thick on the top of the master tech. 
So when I lift this up, you can see the impression again, the circular dots being the two magnets. Now check this out. I can't go too high because I've done something cool here, but I'm just going to put the heaviest at the top. All right. That's awesome. That is nine sockets being held vertically, true vertical, <laughs> by the magnetic rails from Ernst. So here's kind of the conundrum, and this is kind of what I think I'm going to stick with. Number one, if you're thinking like, hey, why'd you do blue over here? I thought you were doing orange and green, you know? I want to. I really do. Ernst does not make the magnetic ones in orange or green yet. Will they? I don't know. I've asked. <laughs> I'm sure it's not like super high on the priority. If it's something you want to see, you need to tell them. Email, call, you know, they post something on Instagram or something, leave a comment like, hey man, I'd love to see those magnetic rails in green or orange or whatever. Um, I'm not sure they do high vis. I will tell you though, if you're like more traditional or invested in this before the new colors, and you're thinking like, that would be perfect for my hex bits. That's probably what a lot of you are thinking. Like, I've never known what to do with those. They like, don't need the eight inch. They, they don't need like a 13 or an 18 inch rail. I hate having SE and metric on the same rail. It's a mess. That eight inch size would be ideal for hex bits. I totally agree. That's one of the other things I had in mind for them. I can tell you right now, Ernst has black magnetic rails, eight, 13 and 18 inch configurations. They also do that, of course, with blue. So if you see this and you're like, well, shoot, that would be awesome, but I needed the 13 inch for my socket set. It fits perfect, eight's too small. They've got it, they've got a 13 inch. Also, what you're looking at here where the capris are, let me get this, I only use that on painted surfaces, by the way, don't judge me. But uh, right there, that is a full 18 inch Ernst socket boss, complete with the size labels. It's from our impact socket storage Nirvana uh, video. If it's a situation where you have to have the 18 inches, they make them in magnetic and you can get them in black, red, and blue. There's a chance high vises. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so if high vis is your thing, you might want to check on that yourself. But red and blue, if you're doing that for like SA and metric, as so many people do, you're home free. If you're a person that doesn't like blue or red and so you do black, you know, for one and red or blue for the other, you can go that route. Full on magnetic options are available 8 to 18 inch. Okay, so 8, 13, and 18, quarter three, it's half. Whatever you want, you can get it standard, magnetic, you name it. The coolest thing, if you're like, well, that's neat and I would use that a lot. Like I would take my sockets over to the car I'm working on or I'd throw them on the lift, but at the end of the day, I want them back in the socket boss. Well, look at this thing, okay? It looks just like the rails on the socket boss, and that's because it'll plug in. Now, 8 inch, and this is something that I've also asked for, they do not make an 8 inch socket boss. I kind of think they should, because again, picture like you're, maybe you don't care about the magnets, but you're like, man, I had no idea the 9 sockets would fit on that thing. Or you're again picturing like your hex bits or your torx bits or something, and you're like, man, you know, this guy has a point, you know, but if you're like, well, I don't really need the magnets. I'm not going to store them on the lid or I'm not going to, you know, throw them on a lift or something. But if they had like a little eight inch socket boss, man, I'd be all about that. Something else. You got to tell them, you got to let them know like, Hey, I need an eight inch socket boss in my life. Why is it not here? <laughs> and, uh, maybe if enough people, you know, like have that mindset, it'll be a deal like, yeah, maybe we should try to sell that thing. And uh, the rails are already in place. It's just literally the tray, you know, so that plastic piece where the rails snap into and makes it easier for you to carry them. Uh, that's what we're talking about here. So imagine if you will, you come in and you only do metric. So you have your hex bits and then you've got your torques and then you've got like your triple squares or your freak, you know, custom length stuff for weird things you have to do. You could have two or three rows of eight inch, you know, deals and if you splurge for the magnetic rail and you've got it in the socket boss you simply pop it out and then you take the magnets and you throw it on the lift or you put it on the tool cart that you've got at the vehicle it's a killer setup and uh, i hope it comes to fruition uh, spoiler alert that might be something custom that we try to do i think i've mentioned it in the past and there's a good chance it gets butchered and it's not even functional but I think I just have to try it. Like I, I legitimately don't know that I can live with myself if I don't attempt to create one. So <laughs> That's a, it might be a one-off ugly looking prototype, but if I can get it functional, by gosh, I'll be a happy little guy. So uh, anywho, this is what we've got. This is how they work. Now, do they overlap, you know, the hook? Like you can see my Capri set up here and it's super clean and you can articulate it. 
yeah, they're going to overlap when you put the nine sockets here, but they fit, and that's the main thing. So kind of what I think I'm going to do is come in and we'll take this and we'll take our 12 points and we'll just have them on the magnetic rails for now. And then I can kind of just grab, I mean, to give you an idea of how strong of a hold that is, you've seen it on the lid, but like right here, I can't lift that. You know, I can come here and I can just, up she goes, right? The whole nine sockets now. The other cool thing, twist. I think it's raining. I mean, that's the thing. I don't know. I had to put the door down. There are too many like gawkers and noise things going on. But uh, anywho, this is just a stupid cool setup. I absolutely love it. And what I want to know from you before we go kind of switch things over is, would you do something like this where you have them on standalone rails? Would you try to build a custom socket boss to kind of keep them sorted, you know, two by two? Or would you do the thing I talked about where I have like quarter to three quarter, uh, six point shallow, and then we jump into quarter to three quarter deep, or we'd have the shallow here in six point and shallow here in 12 points. There's different ways you can do it. And it's kind of hard to know what to pick to be straight up honest with you. So. Uh, I'm going to get some stuff populated. I might also grab some hex keys just because I think that's like a perfect example of something you could put on these and then they're ready. They're handy to go if you don't use them frequently. I mean, this is the type of stuff like with the magnets being this strong. I mean, you can literally come in if you don't want them vertical like that. You can do that like just space where you could put nothing else here. Okay. Like you've got your parts trays, you've got your part bowl, you've got your hooks for cords and hangers and whatnot, and you just kind of got like dead space here. This is strong enough to hold the nine sockets. It's amazing. I'm assuming also on the 13s and 18s, you like get a magnet or more too, maybe three and four respectively. Don't hold me to it because I've never had any. Probably going to order some. They've also got a 10% off sale right now. Uh, suggest you join the mailing list. That's how I know about these things. Am I special? Yes, but I'm also just a guy on the mailing list. <laughs> and you can be too. But uh, it's just, there's so many, like I show you this stuff all the time, but like we've got like, you know, the extensions, nut drive, you got everything kind of set up here. And then there's like, there's all this space here. You know, I'm not going to always be going for that shallow deal. I can even move these up. You could literally populate this whole lip. These are strong enough. You could go the whole length and have crud tons of sockets here. And you still like, it's not really interfering with anything. Now, obviously if you started getting like stupid deep or put extensions on, it could be a problem, but it's just like, this is kind of wasted space. And you can sort of, I mean, you could even just have one section here and put two or three and just boom, you don't even see them until you see them. Right. <laughs> so while I was legit worried about the magnet strength, I kind of thought it was more like, well, it's probably just so it doesn't turn over in your drawer, you know? No, they're amazing. So uh, I'm going to try to piece this stuff together and kind of show you what we got. Because again, like take a look at this that I've had here for all this time and has been awesome. And then I've just got like the floppy rail, right? And like if you pull this around enough, it's going to start, especially over time. This is a good one to Koken's credit. Some of these spring steel rails are a joke. I could like grab this socket and like three of them fall off that we didn't even touch. But it's just kind of down. It doesn't really stand up good because it's not flat. It's got like that wobble because of the profiles for the spring. This is going to completely mitigate that. So I'm going to go unbox those. We're going to populate them and then we'll go to town. All right, back at the workbench. And I want to highlight this. So this has been robbed of the quarter. I've got it at work on an Ernst rail, ironically, non-magnetic. But uh, these are all 3 8 drive, right? You've got 3 30 seconds up to 3 8 And are they not perfect for what we would be doing with a rail that size? Like anything bigger, the 13, the 18, it's overkill. The 8 inch, it's like perfect. It's almost like it was intended for them. Coming in, this is the bigger. I got these like stupid cheap. And I know it's Harbor Freight, but I've used these for years, especially the T-handles, and I don't break them. And so it's S2, S2 tool steel. That's the good stuff. And I'm kind of starting to believe them because again, I just, I don't break them. And uh, there's been a lot of crud I've done with them and they haven't snapped yet. So I'm sure there's probably bad batches. There's probably some that are, you know, legit and some that are just junk. Maybe there's more junk than good, but for all intents and purposes, for the price we paid for these, this was a go. <laughs> and the thing is this, you're sitting here and you're like, okay, it's nine pieces. That's cool. That will fit. You've clearly demonstrated you can fit nine sockets on those. 
But this is a situation where you've got three eighths here and then these last three are gonna be half inch. You can see the body get bigger. With the Ernst flexibility, ignore the coke and socket with the magnets picked up, note that I've got three half inch plugs here, three sockets. <laughs> I can put quarter as well. I've got the battery light flashing, so I'm gonna to try to tear this down. But I just wanna highlight, like these eight inch rails are pretty cool now. When you get one, this is what you're gonna receive. You're gonna get the rail itself. These are gonna be again 8408M. They're twist lock, they're just magnetic. And if we tear into these guys, which I'll try to do quickly. Ordinarily, I'm careful with this stuff, but we've got battery lights and I'm trying to get this wrapped up tear off the adhesive we'll clean that up later this is what I wanted to highlight though this is what you get again these are all pre-configured with the pegs you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine eight inch rail nine pegs we'll get that cleaned off here in a second but you get the size markers that's right even though it's an eight inch rail you get the full stick sticker sheet here so if you wanted to do your hex bits you can absolutely do that if you wanted to come in and label each one of these nine sockets you can do that your torques you're covered whatever you're doing even if it's like driver bits you can make that happen you get the full treatment just as if you bought like an 18 inch socket boss there so i'm going to get these opened up clean them up hopefully have enough battery life left to show the end product to you all right it's a little crooked on the camera angle trying to beat the battery light but Took these two rails, pulled off the 12-point uh, semi and the 12-point shallow coking sockets that we just brought in. Nine sockets fit beautifully. The rails are magnetic. We'll take them over to the Master Tech where, they're, where they will go. But wanted to highlight this to you. This is the long 280 millimeter, about 11 inch uh, coking flex head that we just brought in. That's one of the long extensions. You can kind of see how they would fit here. This is also on a magnetic rail. I've not tested the vertical holding of this, but we're gonna go do that. All right, so still fighting the battery light here, but this is our quarter to three quarter 12 point shallow, our quarter to three quarter semi deep, all on the eight inch Ernst uh, magnetic rails. This is of course what we had here previously in testing, our quarter to three quarter six point. I only have four of these rails right now, so the you know deep six point would go here, but we've got it populated with a long coking extension and the long 11 inch ratchet that we just picked up. Let's go ahead and try it. I, I mean, it holds great here. Okay, it's gonna be super solid, case in point. If you wanna pull anything out, you can. I'm gonna try and we'll see. That's the extension does slide a little. Okay, that's that's doing it. I can't go too much higher. I'll spoil some things floating in the air there <laughs> Check that out that will actually hold so if we wanted to come in and grab you know our most frequently used 3 8 ratchet I was able to do it one-handed there Sweetness, so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll play around with that some more But right now I want to get the six point deeps on and try to have that to close the video out I'm gonna pull this off uh, go get the other 3 8 blanks that I pulled off when I configured this for the custom go to my sister to build a squat rack deal and we'll take a final look at it and there's the final money shot so we got quarter to three quarter shallow and deep we've got quarter to three quarter uh, shallow and semi deep six point and 12 point respectively this gives you an idea if we were to use like an 18 inch socket boss or magnetic rail whatever it may be we would sort of have it ascend like this we could flip it and do the opposite we could have shallow and deep six point we could do shallow and semi 12 on the same rail um, kind of torn still on that let me know but I can tell you this is awesome I've used this little guy right here all the time I just take it out and it just sticks to whatever I want it to whether it's the cart or a tray closer to the vehicle frame rail it's been on that I always try to remember to keep it clean before I put it back in the box but I know what some of you are saying like okay well hey we've never seen this would be your heaviest setup these nine deeps let's see if they hold well we'll put three quarter on the bottom to make it even more legit and I'll center it for your viewing pleasure. There it is. Here's this hand. The other hand is holding the uh, camera. Pretty impressive, right? If we come over here underneath the easy reds, we'll do quarter to three quarter. Boom. Just leveling it out there again for your viewing pleasure. Awesome, awesome stuff here. If we come to one of my trick locations, which is inside this lip, <laughs> we can do that. Uh, keep in mind, at some point, like the shallows, this is really functional. This is functional, it's just a deal where you might start to occlude things in the bottom. 
Uh, I will tell you a lot of people over here, they've got like seldom used items, you know, whether that's like certain drivers or stuff. This space here, you could easily turn into a caddy for these magnetic uh, socket bosses. Uh, I don't really have space in mind, but you get the idea. And again, that is nine sockets on an eight inch rail. Goes together beautifully. That's nothing custom. They come with the nine clips. So if we had an eight inch socket boss, which would be the plastic tray, uh, we could articulate it into place. It would lock, you could move them as a group, whatever you want to do. For now, this is almost perfect. Ideally, if they made orange, this would be like the bee's knees right now, but I am a fan of blue. It's just with the service cart being orange, we kind of try to do that. But, uh, all this is still a work in progress. Will this be their final resting spot? I don't know. I can also tell you I put a heavy SK uh, 3H drive ratchet and chrome extension in the ratchet dock before I converted this over to hold the deeps. Went together beautifully, held it awesome. I got some pictures, we'll probably see those on Instagram. Speaking of that, we should wrap this up before we're totally gone with the dead battery. LoneStarMopars.com is the website. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts, particularly if you've been down this road. Let me know what you did, what you would do. Uh, let me know if you agree, like, is it kind of the crazy idea of putting these on one 18 inch rail and sort of like quarter to three quarter, three quarter to quarter or so on and so forth. Is that viable? Is it stupid? <laughs> Would you try it? Uh, and also just these magnetic rails are killer. This will not be the last you see of these. I've got tons of stuff in mind that's going to need them and we're going to probably get that stuff ordered pretty soon. So uh, big thanks to Ernst for sending these out. And again, if you were unaware of the magnets and you thought, well, it's just to keep it from like flopping when you shut a drawer, We've disproven that these things will hold these now. Granted, I don't have an 18 inch like full of half inch slugs or anything to test, but if I bring one in, we'll just throw some of those on there and see what happens. But for this stuff, works beautifully, zero complaints. Uh, if I had to complain, it would just be, uh, man, I wish orange and green was available and I wish there was an eight inch socket boss. Maybe that'll happen in the future. We'll have to stay tuned and find out. But uh, with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned a little something. Uh, maybe you got some ideas to tweak your storage, improve it. Keep in mind with the labels, you can absolutely customize these. I'm not 100% sure if this is their final resting spot. I know in the meantime, it's going to be super convenient. But if I do wind up leaving them on these 8-inch rails, we'll probably come in and label them quarter to three-quarter. just makes it that much easier to see them, as you see with the capris right there. So... With that said, I'll quit rambling. Thanks so much for watching. And most importantly, I hope I catch you back here next week for more action from the shop.